Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm reading my final and third part of the um, Jagnalock stories. So if you do go on to enjoy the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, awesome. It's going to be good. And uh, yeah, and I've made mistakes. Oh god. Okay, yeah, alright. Let's go. Mount Olympus stood high in all its glory. There is a cloud directly above the mountain. It leads to a world which few mortals know about. It leads to the land of the gods. Jagnalok stood and stared down at the small humans below. Jag was a god, the god of justice. He wore tight leather robes and a cape which whipped in the wind. Suddenly, a portal appeared and two figures stepped out. The sky then turned black and thunder struck everywhere. Well, Poseidon, what, well, Poseidon, Zeus, what do I owe this pleasure? He spoke in a bitter voice. We need you on a mission, Zeus said simply. Jag looked at him and said, me. Why, of all the Olympians who drink wine and celebrate, why me? I just lost everything and I'm never going to get it back. He was on the verge of tears. You don't know what that's like because you love nothing and you never will. Now I'm done with being a hero. I'm never looking back. Never. Now go ahead and blast me to dust. Do it. Zeus's hands glowed bright. Maybe I should blast my son to dust, he thought. Then he stopped. His hands stopped glowing and he said, It's not a request. It's an order, he bellowed. Fine, Jack said. When am, where am I going and what am I doing? Okay, Zeus began. There is a mountain known as Mount Elagar. It houses a monster known as Takusa. He's been causing trouble, and we need you to take him down. Go to Ares' armory and get your and get your equipment. Okay, Jag said. But as he walked away, Zeus shouted, "Jag!" What? Jag asked. A short blade broke. Hephaestus made you a new weapon. He tossed Jag a shard of metal. He looked at it and said unsurely, "Thanks." And he went to visit Ares. Hello, Ares, said Jag, as he walked into the armory. Hello, Jag, Ares replied. Are you here to are you here to gear up? Yes, what have you got for me? First, Ares began, I've got this shield. He held a bronze circular shield. It's made of celestial bronze and can only be broken by imperial gold. Jag examined and then, after a while, said, Perfect, what else? Ares then pulled out a golden breastplate encrusted with diamonds. This, Ares said, is an imperial gold chestplate, and the diamonds will deflect most curses. Great, Jag said. However, I will also need transportation. Do you have any? I thought you'd never ask, Ares said, smiling. He threw him some keys and pressed a button. The wall of the lad lifted up, revealing a long, rocket-shaped vehicle. Will this do, Ares said, knowing that it was perfect. Yes, said Jag, smiling. That will do nicely. So he suited up and climbed in. He ran his fingers along the buttons and the brake. His vi this vehicle was perfect, and he, and he drove off, travelling at the speed of sound, all the way to Mount Elagar. He slowed the vehicle to a vehicle to the halt and realised that Mount Elagar the hill wasn't a mountain. It was a volcano. He saw a gigantic gateway in the vo into the volcano, but there were strange lava guards outside. He walked towards them. They were four and... There were four, and one of them spotted him. It was just it was just like it walked like an ogre and smelled like one too. It charged at Jag, but Jag threw his shield and it smashed against the ogre's head, knocking it to the ground. Jag picked up his shield and threw it at another lava creature. It hit his head and then ricocheted and hit another and then the other, and the guards were down. He was about to pick up his shield when something really hard hit the back of his head, sending him flying. He landed on the floor in pain. He was about to get up when a hand picked him up by the hair and dangled him high in the air. Funny, he heard a voice say. I thought that the Olympians would have a little more fight in them than that. He flung himself by his, his hair and Jag crashed into a nearby rock. He got up and saw his enemy, 
a three meter tall man, not a man, a crocodile, standing on its hind legs. Its ash colored skin with red lines all around it. It walked to Jag lying on the floor and said, My name is Takusa. What's yours? He picked him up and threw him. He landed on the ground. He had nothing to defend, defend with. His shield was over by the base of the volcano. He had no other weapons. Or did he? Jag pulled out the shard of metal Zeus gave to him and prayed it, would, did, it did something. It started to glow red and he knew what to do. Takusa was coming towards him. You ask me what my name is, Jag said. My name is Jagnalok. He got up and and he did the shard of metal grew into a glowing red sword and he stabbed Takusa in the chest. Takusa stumbled backwards in pain. The odds had been evened. Time to fight, Jag said. Jag said. He charged at Takusa. They fought for a long time until Jag knocked Takusa back into Mount Elagar with such force that the entire volcano collapsed. Then from the wreckage, Takusa climbed out and said, You've taken everything from me, and now I shall take everything from you. He grew two giant wings and flew off. Olympus' hero come. As he flew off, suddenly Jag understood Takusa was going to destroy Olympus. By the time Jack arrived in his vehicle, most of the damage had been done. The palace was ruined. All that was left was smoke and fire. He saw Takusa towering over some minor gods and decimating them. Meanwhile, Ares and Zeus were helping people get on a gigantic warship. He then saw Poseidon creating a great river down the mountain. He parked his vehicle and ran towards the ship. Zeus saw him and looked relieved. I thought you were dead, Zeus said. He can't kill me that easily. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. It doesn't matter now. Get on the ship. Jag climbed aboard. Then everyone got on board. They sailed down Poseidon's River. Jag stood at the back watching Takusa destroy Olympus. Then Takusa saw the boat and boomed. I'm coming for you. After I destroy Olympus, I'll come for you. Ha 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 ha. It was at that moment that Jag realised that what, what, wherever they went, Takusa would chase them. He had to be stopped, right here, right now. He let himself float off the boat and landed in front of Takusa. He heard Ares shout, Jag, what are you doing? But ignored him. Takusa looked at him and said, What are you doing? Come to accept defeat? Time seemed to slow down. He thought about his life, Medusa, Thor and his wife, Lily. Just, justice coursed through his veins. What are you doing? Come to accept defeat? Takusa repeated. No, Jag said, because as long as there is justice, there will never be defeat. For Lily, he brought a shard of metal and it transformed into a sword. He stabbed it into the ground and Olympus exploded. All the gods returned to the wreckage of their former home. They found Takusa dead on the ground, and next to him, a dying Jagnalok. Zeus kneeled, kneeled down and said, We'll find you medication. You'll be fine, Zeus said. It's too late for me, Jag said. No, Zeus, said tears in his eyes. You said to me that I love nothing, but that's not true. I love you, son. I love you too, Dad, Jag said. But if you love me, you'll let me go. With that, Jag evaporated into nothing and his spirit flew into the air and became the third star in an, ali in a con an alignment of a constellation known as Orion's Belt. And there we have it, the final story of my three Jagnalok stories. So I hope you can now sort of appreciate the us young, us young writers, like I'm 11, that we, we can write okay stories. I mean, obviously, I don't know what you thought of that. Maybe you thought it was great. Maybe you thought it was bad. I know there were a few spelling mistakes. I hadn't properly reviewed this. All I hope is, uh, yeah, you enjoyed those stories. I've not done this for really that many likes. I just want to share these stories, put them out there. Anyway, thank you. Uh, goodbye.